Hello everybody and welcome back to my Life in Taiwan YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Alan and this YouTube channel is all about my amazing, interesting life here as a foreigner living and working in Taiwan. And sometimes I will choose to share my British culture with the Taiwanese people here. But today we are 100% focused on Taiwanese culture and we have probably the biggest cultural event of the year to share with you today. And that's why I'm standing here in Ching Shui service station parking lot waiting for my good friend Jim who's promised me an awesome, amazing experience. You've probably already guessed from the title that we are going to Dajia Matsu. It's an amazing, interesting event. I've never been before. Jim has promised me an amazing experience. His cousin or a contact of his is part of the temple's team or I have no idea. Let's just wait and see what's gonna happen. This video is surely going to be crazy. I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea if I can even tell you a story while all of the craziness will be going on. What I do know is that it's gonna be a fun, amazing night. So I want you to come with me. And I can see already Jim is waiting right over there. So I'm gonna go meet Jim, meet his friends, and let's go see how amazing Daja Matsu can be. Let's go. Good man, come here. believe it the surprises have started already they've actually given me an outfit and I now belong to the temple what temple do I belong to oh Denlangong Denlangong temple has a new member let's get ourselves up to Dajia let's have some fun Okay, so we've arrived in Dajia now. Awesome! And before the craziness starts, before we get down to the center of town itself, let's learn a little bit about this pilgrimage. Okay, so it's a nine-day pilgrimage covering 400 kilometers from one temple in Dajia down to another temple in Jiayi and then making their way all the way back. It usually happens around this time of year, March or April, to coincide with Matsu's birthday. And hundreds of thousands of people will follow the statue of the goddess all the way down there. Now, not everybody will go all the way. Some people will. Some people will walk the full 400 kilometers to Jiayi and back, but others, like myself, will just accompany the statue for just a little while. So let's get ourselves into town center and check out the craziness of what's gonna happen. Let's go. It is insane. I thought it would be a little bit crazy, but it is, is getting out of hand. Dajia Matsu is Taiwan at its very best, its very craziest, and its most fun. for me to educate you just a little on Matsu. Now Matsu, Matsu is actually the goddess of the sea, but she actually goes by a number of different names. So if you're ready to hear some of my terrible Chinese, here's a list of other names that Matsu is known as. Matsu Huo, Granny Matsu, Tian Ho, Queen of Heaven, Tian Shan Shen Mu, Holy Heavenly Mother, Tong Shan Ling Yu, Worthy and Efficacious Lady, Shen Nu, Divine Woman, Ling Hui Fu Ren, Lady of Numinous Grace, Tian Fei, Princess of heaven, Hu Guo Bi Min, Miao Ling Zhao Ying, Hong Ren Pu Ji, Tian Fei, Heavenly 
princess who protects the country and shelters the people of marvelous Newman, brilliant resonance, magnanimous kindness, and universal salvation. Whoa, that is a list of nicknames. I think we're getting out of here now. Gonna go and get some food, check out the rest of this awesome, interesting event. Let's go. That's the team or the temple that we've joined for today. And we've actually just stopped and taken a bit of a rest at one of the members' shops. I have no idea if you can even hear me. But anyway, let's learn a bit about Matsu herself. And who, in fact, was she? Well, Matsu is the god's name. She's actually based upon a girl that really lived during the 10th century called Lin Moi Niang. And there's an old folk story about her rescuing her brothers and her father during a seafaring accident. I'm not too sure of the story, there's many different variations of the story, but as one of the stories goes, while she was rescuing her brothers, one in each hand, she carried her father in her mouth, but then in order to let her mother know she was alive, she tried to make a sound with her mouth and dropped her father, and her father died. But don't take that story as 100% true for me, I'm just telling the story that I've heard from a couple of guys tonight. And therefore, because this girl, Lin Mo Niang, used her magical powers to save her brothers, she became revered and worshipped as a goddess and she actually became the goddess of the sea Matsu so there you have it there's the story of Lin Morniang and how she became Matsu the goddess of the sea Oh! 
I'll give you a hug. Okay. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've been I've been promising you Matsu for ages now, but I'm sure she's just around the corner. I don't know what to say. I'm not sure if I told a story during that video. I'm not sure if you followed me. I'm not even sure if you heard a word that I was saying. But it looks like looks like it's time to go home now. We're following the guys from our team, following them somewhere a bit quieter. Am I shouting? I want man. Very crazy. <laughs> Very crazy. Yes. Shenzai woman, Hui Jama. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh no, no, no light, no light. Daja Matsu is absolutely insane. It's crazy. Fireworks, firecrackers, gods dancing in the street. I, I have no words. I do not know what to say. But if you are here to the very, very end, Team VVVIP, as always, you stay to the end. Thank you for watching. Before I go, I want to say a big thanks to Jim, my good friend Jim, and his cousin, Hong Yi. Hong Yi welcomed us into their team. As always, Taiwanese people, so welcoming. They made us feel like one of their own. We saw Logan, we met Xiaobei. What a fantastic place to meet him for the first time. I'm sure his video will be up soon. As soon as it is, I'll put a link here. Go check out Logan's video. I have no idea what he captured, but I'm sure he captured an amazing event too. We didn't even see Matsu. Unbelievable, but apparently that's normal. Our team, our team were focused on following our god down the street, but Anyway, what an amazing event. So all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Team VVVIP to the very end as always. And I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Peace out.